finishing good against Drow. You got the physical uh, save with the, triple, the heal. Triple save. Triple save. Triple save now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to go yeah, Axe. Sick. Pretty good. That's fine. There yep. are a lot of squishy heroes on Team Secret. They take pretty much, if Execration gets some decent farm, they can blow on Team Secret, and then you just hit them with the Culling Blade, and that's it. They're done for. Well, let's definitely hope they can actually manage to do so, so we will see more games, and if not, Secret will have it, and will actually win this tournament. The turnout is uh, yet unsure, and for that, of course, we're going to head over for Toby and uh, Winter. It's a good question from Zoe. Will we see more games? Winter, I, I kind of had hope we were going to have... It's not even visible. Oh, well, there goes my thing. It's, it's out. That, that's fine. <laughs> I was hoping for Meepo. I have to make it thicker next time. Uh, but we didn't get a Meepo. But we do get the love of my life. The Dro Ranger has now appeared after being we didn't get banned Jack Hero. and just remaining. like repressed. We didn't get Jack Hero. Tournament. You're happy, I'm not happy. Five seconds remaining. One day we can both be happy, Winter. <laughs> and maybe Game 4 is the path to happiness. It could come any moment if we can have Execration come out on top. That is the goal if they can achieve it. Prepare a game for four. That's as far as the heads they can look. But they're up against a draw lineup coming out from Secret. They've won many, many games very quickly with such lineups. Mid one last time we played with the Drow Ranger was on a beyond godlike streak with this hero. Could not be something was over 25 kills in, in that game and that game didn't even go over 25 minutes. But they are really greedy though with uh, support nicks. Uh, generally, support nicks, they, you don't offer your team so much in the early okay, game. Okay, where is the... Hang on, where's the help? Alright, sorry, go on. Uh, I, I, was, I was waiting for this movement to come all the way around <laughs> and like, trying to work out where they were going. Yeah, and they are, they're headed to the OD. Yeah, I'm just like worried about this support nicks. I'm not sure if it's going to work this game. Uh, I mentioned in the first two games, they had issues in the laning phase. And... So support Nyx is not really a, a hero that can do much in the laning phase. You have a decent combination with the acid disrupt into the stun, but all in all, I'm not sure how well this Nyx would do. You know? I have mixed feelings about it. The Trion is going to be able to act like the, the ogre in this game, you know, run around, punch your heroes. 90, 90 damage, yeah. level 1, you know. While, while I have mixed feelings about the Nyx Assassin, I have less mixed feelings about the axe, where. But he, like, he just bought a Tango, you know, so it, it means that he might... Okay. Is he... Wait. No, no, no. He, he, he just bought his start. His start. He decided that he's going to go yeah. lane. I, I, I like the laning idea more. I was like, oh, if he goes Iron Talon jungle this game, Trion roaming around, sounds like a recipe for disaster, so... But with he, all the consumables in the down shield, at least he can sit on his own safe lane, because this is XCTN, like, running he, he Gabby might, on the off. He might actually lane the Nyx and the Axe dual bottom is not the strongest lane, but both the heroes have a lot of uh, high base regen, so you, you can trade right clicks. By the looks of it, uh, Execration is pretty locked in with keeping Gabby down here. They've both got the same amount of, con in fact, it's almost I the same. So they're going for, oh, they they want to lane the PA against the draw. Yeah, that's the idea here. And Axe is going to get a good matchup against Cloudwork, so that's, that's great news for their laning phase. And Nick so far, yeah, he's going to join his team in the bottom lane. So it'll be an aggressive try lane. SD, Nyx, plus the Phantom Assassin against the Drow IO so far. Mm -hmm. Trian is just going to be... Yeah, I think he's going to... I think once he realizes the try lane bottom, he probably will just return to the bottom lane to sit in the lane. And that's going to uh, be really good for the other lanes. Because X is going to get a really good matchup 1v1. Uh, mid lane, OD against uh, Here's the disruption. Arrow, where's the extra help to come? Puppy's already here. Leveled up Leech Seed, Rappi has to get out. I mean, it's more difficult to get kills like this nowadays with the, the nerf to the PA Dagger, where the range is really, really short at level 1. So it's not that easy anymore to play that aggressive against a draw lane with a PA. You used to see PAs just wreck the draw in the lane from the early stages, but not so easy to do that anymore with the nerf. And top lane DJ so far being really comfortable. Like, he's getting mana burned by the clockwork, but Overall, this lane should be pretty good for the Axe in general. But uh, the good news is they managed to block off this camp. I think it's really crucial what Secret did here. They blocked off the, the big camp because mainly the way you want to play the Axe against a uh, clockwork matchup, you push out the lane and you want to pull the, the camp. So with the camp out of the picture, this is going to allow clockwork to be okay in the lane. Yep. But Axe will still get a hell of a lot out of this lane and we won't have that delayed blink dagger like we've had previously, which is... He might opt to go for a Vanguard first, probably. Before he goes for the blink, depending on the situation. 
because you're getting a very good laning phase. Oh, disruption. Disrupt. They're prepping up on bottom lane. Gabby doesn't have a lot of damage to give Radiant's with the tether from Highline. I probably dropping down low. They find the kill. Chemo not healthy either. MP sticking around. The tree protector finds that kill, but Highline die. Is there another stun? Still on cooldown for three more seconds, but MP hovering around a little longer. Still for split for execration. Good trade there for them. Losing just the support. At least makes the, makes this try lane a little bit more worth it. It's meant to be finding kills. It's meant to be keeping the supports down there. Uh, call up on top is only going to be a little bit of harassment. Nothing more. Yep. Not a big deal there. I mean, Cloud's still getting his levels and getting decent farm. Just because this camp is blocked here. This 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 block camp is really really good for the Cloud. Lane. Bottom lane, the camp's not blocked, so Seeker is trying to farm farm away here. They got the big creep. So really good for Poppy there, getting the experience and the goal. Disruption. It's just on the Drow Ranger, Rabbi's not going to fall up. In fact, he gets oh, gusted and trouble. cold arrowed. But because of the extra kills early on, he does have the boots. So the high movement speed's there, and Cabby jumps in. Highlight Eye. Low on life, gets a little bit of distance, bottles oh, up. He's not tethered off. up, so there's not they a lot of heal coming off. in. They have to back off. Poppy might be able to get his next leech seat off. Uh, one second. Unless he wants to go underneath the tower, he does throw it out, Puppy. A little too close, Rappi still has his stun available. Yeah, they don't they don't have much regen left though, like uh, SD doesn't have regen. I mean PA does have uh, a self and three tangles left, but SD might have to go suicide and just come back to the lane after. Not gonna happen. Well uh, looking at the other lanes, OD eleven, uh, Mirana is seventeen, so Mirana is actually winning this lane. And SD, like I said, gonna suicide, come back to bottom lane and X. Is uh, winning the top lane, but not heavily, like I said, because of the camp being blocked off and being a huge problem for the axe. Mm -hmm. yeah, but now axe is just, I just have to deal with the lane as it is. Yep. It's, it's this bottom lane, I'm wondering how long ex like execration sticks with it. And the draw range is going to hit level 6, and then this lane becomes a death trap for execration. Yeah, I think they'll stay here and just to delay the level 6 on draw. You don't want the draw to get like a free farm lane. You have to slow her down somehow, you know. You're like still pretty happy if you're the Drow Ranger. Like you're, you're level four, four minutes in when you got a defensive trial lane hugging Radiant's you. But the creep though. Is under attack. He has oh, oh DJ, that's a problem. What? The battery really? assault just chased him down. Then a rocket from Kazu. He, he, he solo killed him. He just solo killed the axe. Axe oh. was a little bit deep. He I think was he looking was, to creep skip. Uh, yeah, he was like trying to creep skip and Cole had three points in battery. Is under attack. You're just gonna die to that. And with no creeps around there, so the spin is not gonna trigger like one hero against one hero. Like without the creeps, Axe is not gonna beat the clockwork, but with creeps, Axe will beat clockwork. It's also nice from Keizu, realizing what he's getting into, uh, leveled up high in the battery yeah. assault I mean, instead I, of the rocket. I'm, I'm telling you here that this camp being blocked is just beating the clockwork the lane here. <laughs> Disruption starts off from Chemo. Silence gonna be pushing back Rappi. So he can't follow up the stun or the damage, which he wants to do. He's got the double damage rune inside of him at the moment, which will wear off. So no opportunity to jump and this, forward. This PA is getting pretty much about the same farm as the draw. So that's not too good news for exploration. They're kind of hoping to at least like pressure the lane more. And mid lane, mid one jumping in with the, the Star Storm. Not going to try to arrow there. He's a little bit more help if that arrow is going to work. Team Seeker should still be very happy with all of this. Like you go for harassment like that, <laughs> Puppy will soon be giving over living armor to everybody. Once he feels that like he's got the mana to do it. I mean, at the moment he's probably just trying to save it just in case the PA jumps onto the draw. So uh, unless he's fairly certain that it's not going to happen, then you can use your living armor on the other lanes. That camp finally unblocked for DJ, so he was able to farm it up quickly. A little bit of extra injection of money that DJ is able to use. He's going to need it when he's going for more of a tankier style of build with that early ring of health. Just lets him stand against the clockwork. Potentially just into the into the vanguard later on. Uh, Chemo. Disruption. He has it available. Gabby's going to move over as well. They put the catcher over on Puppy. Oh, that's going to keep the tether up. The arrow flies forward, goes straight between all of Execration. Can't go into the instant start ball. Rappi Spike Carapace protects him. He's got stun off cooldown in one second time. And now he can turn. Gets a double stun. Rappi will be back into the tree lines. Lives in the bottom river. That's where you get the silence from the Shadow Demon. He'll drop in Gabby. Left by himself. MP needs to keep that control. Tether flies in forward. Where is the hit? DJ arrives. Looks for the call. Three men. He's tethered up. He'll go for the call. Over on the IO. Cutting Blade will kill him off. Gabby gets back to the trees in time. Quickly sounds up, wants to jump back into this fight, looks towards MP, stifling dagger forward. He's got the Phantom Strike available to DJ, Cutley Blade number two. <laughs> yeah. Execration, it's their turn with the rotations to have the success. 
Yeah, Radiant's very good rotation tower. from DJ there. He chose not to complete his Vanguard first. He went for the, the Tranquils. That allowed him to actually be active on the map. Like Without boots, if you have rushed the Vanguard and you wouldn't have boots, that play wouldn't have been possible for Exploration. Then. So, really well done there by DJ on the Axe. And Quadwork has an Arcane Rune and Hookshot, so it's probably his turn to try and make a play now. This is also going to help Execration a lot later on, or not Radiant's later on, uh, into the 15-minute like, mark. Attack. The fact you can give Rappi the space on top lane. So you, you almost get... Actually, Gabby's going to TP up here too. And it's off. I mean, he's going to TP up here because there's not much he can do anymore at bottom lane. Like, I don't think their trial lane was that successful like, in terms of slowing down. I mean, they did slow down the draw, but I don't think it was enough. And draw is almost level 6 right now, and... Things are looking fairly stable for Secret right now, after the early laning phase. I don't know, I'm just a little bit more enthusiastic about this game as Execration have two cores who were having success. Both OD and Axe sitting on the top of the net worth. <laughs> yes, Marana is nipping at the heels, but Execration have got more to work with mm, in this game than they've had in yes, both the last games combined. You have to remember that the Quadwork hasn't started to move yet, whereas your Axe already made a first movement, so Secret Radiant's is still waiting for that Quadwork to move. He's going to pop his Arcane Rune, try to get, land a hook shot here, maybe. Not too many creeps. He'll have to back up a bit. He's fine with this, he's going get to get the experience. Yeah, he's going to work uh, uh, towards getting an early Blade Meal after the bottle. He's 1,000 gold shot of that, so going to get a very early Blade Meal. Very good against the Phantom Assassin. It seems to be a little bit better at the moment for team uh, for Execration just because they're able to utilize their jungle and Team Secret is not. So overall they're Which, like it's yeah, only inching slightly forward. But mid one, leap out. There's uh, more than enough space for him to get back behind the tower, same with Highlight Eye. Yep. Overall be just because they are able to use the jungle and Plot is not a hero that can jungle, so it's so allowing Execration to be really contented with what's happening right now, having a hero jungling, using the map much more if you can. Having a support but bottom lane to soak up the experience and right. even get some farm here. So, I would say oh, Exploration pretty shot. content with uh, and happy with uh, the traits they're getting right now. And X, it seems like he's not going to complete the Vanguard first, he's going to go for the Dagger. Mm -hmm. They're going to need him to make space for everyone else to farm. Since PA did not have a successful laning phase at bottom lane, he's going to need more time to farm. And also a lot more space to get the levels up. You need to get that level, if you can, 16 up. Look for that big high crits secret. Understanding the fact of what DJ is up to. He's currently having a look for him. Keizu missed the gank on mid. Well, just because of the timing. But now, oh, uh. DJ. Fancy footwork dive. Steps away from the hook shot. And now looks for Pylite Die. If you can actually get the call here, you're bragging the creep to last an easy culling blade. Now the third kill for the Axe out of four that Execration have claimed. Uh, I think they, s they still could have gone for the kill there, like Kezu wasn't very sure that he did not want to run in after he missed the hook shot, but Parada was like, probably he was pinging, like he tethered him immediately, like telling him we, we should still go in with Daya's the movement from the tether, and we attack. just need your battery as well, plus the cogs, we could still kill him. But Kezu was like, oh, he was backing off, so some miscommunication there from both the players. Well, that's fantastic for DJ. He wanted the blink dagger, and now with the rest of the camp, he thumbs up, and the hero kill he claims, he'll have the money for the blink. So, a 10, just shy of 11 minute Blink That's Dagger. And the Ring of Health on top of that. That's a good start. And he's not even taking up space at the moment. They left SD on the bottom line. He's managed to get like two levels in the last it's three six, minutes. It's not six, fantastic. Yeah, almost level six already on the SD. Yeah, it's, so it's enough. It's overall, enough. overall the, the gold plus experience uh, spread onto exploration is really good. Rappi is level six now. He's going to be able to make a move as well. Might be, it might be moving with the axe right now. That would be ideal for them. Yeah, he's pinging. They're going to TP in, uh, pop the smoke with the axe. And I mean, I, right now, any big call would be good. The draw or the Mirana would be great kills for them. Mirana's probably going to be higher on the list. That mid solo that hasn't really been involved in anything. They, just they, have, they have a ward on Rappi as well. Ideally, they want to place the ward inside the enemy jungle. But meanwhile, they got a kill. Dyer's yep. bottom tower Seems like Draw Ranger attack. just did Draw Ranger things. Dyer's structures are mid lane, they're camping for mid one here. Might go on him here. Yeah, blink, fall, leap up. He's still taunted, however, so the Suns will follow in. And OT brings the damage. Max finds another kill. But the trade-off is you lose your SD, not a big loss, but you lose your tier one tower on the safe Dyer's lane. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. 
And mid lane, they're gonna put a lot of Radiant's pressure on middle this lane as well. See attack. whether Quark looks nearby. He has hook shot up. Oh, he hooked down. Looks at the creep wave with the blink call. They find Pumpy. Rappy. No real man to work with. So Pumpy just lets the overgrowth go. And now Holden the assassin position. Can't go anywhere. Locked in with three Team Secret heroes in the middle of the cog wall. Well, that was really unfortunate. They didn't get the hook shot onto the axe. That would have been big for Secret there. He was able to blink out because he was trying to initiate onto Puppy there. Saving his own life there. <laughs> Managing to dodge the hook shot. Radiance top and played me a computer on casual. He really needs to put in more work on, on the clockwork here for his team. He, he needs to be able to get key pickoffs here with his like, hook, hook shot plus his blade mill. He is like really huge right now for clockwork at this stage of the game. Getting his blade mill early is going to mean a lot for his team. Level 6 is now up for the IO. Yep. So hook relocates shot, on, relocate. the, on the field. Easy kill on most of the... Like, I think basically they could kill anyone. Maybe apart from the PA they might blink out. So all the heroes uh, are pretty good targets for Kezu on the clockwork here. We'll see if he gets any key kills for his team right now. Top lane is where it looks like Puppy is at least positioning for. Was overworld behind the tower, but they don't have an opening. Yeah, they need the clockwork to start the the fight. Hookshot and the Dyer's relocate to follow up. Probably bringing attack. in either the Drow or the Mirana. DJ just got scouted out by the by the clockwork rocket flying bottom lane. He got past the Observer Ward. Thanks to the Invisorin he had. Uh, Kezu, hook shots in. Shadow Demon still has defensive destruction. Relocate, it's on the Dyer's way. Does he actually come in or out the stun? Got the double from Rappi. And maybe with the extra control, the spins. DJ holding Parnai and Kezu there. He wants the Cully Blade. And he's going to get it. The bonus movement speed. Allowing DJ to run out. The Puppy now rides. Let's the overgrowth go. Actually, he's it up. He goes for the call. The extra armor. Allowing him to run away. Arbed now also with defensive imprisonment. Execration move forward. Kimo, the arrow flies in. A big hit from mid one, doesn't let the south ball go, he wants the bigger kill, over to Kimo, DJ will blink out, but now Gabby joins the fight, Execration have brought everybody down here, they're so of Team Secret, they need an opening, no hook shots available, so just the Phantom Strike down to, to Abed, Gabby gets off the hill and away, Arrow, uh, don't catch, Execration gets the space, and they'll all disengage. I mean, you can see how much work the blade mill that did. Like they almost managed to kill off DJ in that fight because of the blade mill returning a lot of the damage that Axe was dealing there. You really needs to be very careful when they're going on the call. Red arrows gonna connect. Rappy. No way, great enough space for this. Team Secret were really only coming up for the rune and to uh, pick up the point booster, but they bag an OD. Yep, bottom lane, they're gonna try to get this claw with the Axe plus the Nyx here. With battery assault on cooldown, this Dyer's becomes a lot of easier task. Attack. Pretty tanky though, they need to get like, him with the creeps around so he spins. Gotta be careful with the blade, man. Jump in, there goes your call. Spin it up, and uh, well, clockwork, already buying up his items. DJ, now 6 for 1 on this axe. Yep, putting his team on his back after the first two Dyer's games. Middle tower is under and attack. meanwhile, Secret getting a trade off here, getting a tower. Still Dyer's pretty good. Oh, oh, DJ, he goes again. Fallen. There's no mana. Looks for though. the hit. They go for the purge as well, Parnai is dropping down low, but DJ MP, this is the problem with an axe. You just can't run away when you got that much slow applied to you. And SD wasn't in position, he didn't have mana for a defensive imprisonment. That was a big kill there. Yeah, here comes Gabby, jumping onto MP here, but yes, back up though, leaving armor and the Io tether to him. He dodged the gust, Gabby's still in trouble, he needs a fan strike one second, the only imprisonment. He'll buy him time, but someone's gonna stay in range, or else he can't strike out to anybody. And there he is, he jumped up to Puppy, but Puppy was there waiting for him. The draw arrow finishes the job. An execration, they're showing a lot more fight in this game, but Team Secret showing a lot more strength too. Dyer's here comes uh, Kezu here on, on his clockwork. He's trying to fish for initiation. Before they have uh, four staffs, clockwork initiations would be Radiant's really deadly to execration. Mm, no, one, no one seems like Dyer's they're gonna build one at the moment. Probably OD will get one at some point. And maybe the supports. But right now, Secret is still in firm control with the draw, taking the towers and Execration gonna want to pull up a defense here. Here's your jump, DJ gets the call on tree and protected just as Puppy was oh, attempting to get the arrow. overgrowth off, but now with the stun, OD, hookshot in from Keizu, defensive destruction from Kimo, will find that space, so Gabi jumps the back lines, he's on top of MP, able to find that kill, Keizu looking for the killer on Arbet, running around the tower, he'll lose his line for it, but it's still worth the cost. If you can bring down that OD, Execration undone yet. 
they want to find more. Yep, that was a good fight by Excretion. Good initiation. Like, even though Secret got a pretty big overgrowth there, but it wasn't enough for them to salvage the fight. Oh, DJ. I like die. Yeah, he yes, found Tether. him. They're living armoring up. DJ, how much damage have you got? Right now, Paladai is kind of winning this fight. Ooh, stick charge. Paladai at least makes the Culling Blade be wasted. Shot cool down. Not a big deal. Yeah, only a minute. But little by little, Puppy doesn't put himself in a bad position. In fact, he's going to find DJ. Middle tower is under attack. He doesn't have overgrowth. Arrow, he's he's going to hit the arrow. However, with the Mirana and lead seed, Puppy. Uh, uh, optimistic. Uh, optimistic. <laughs> Vendetta from Nyx Assassin finds the kill. Mid one was triumphing in the Starfall damage, but now he used Leap to initiate. Gabby needs Keizu. Keizu just creates a little bit more space with his cogs. Oh, shot. They have hook shot up soon. He can hit Rappi. Gonna try. Here he goes. Hits the mark. Gabby still in the neighborhood. Arrow will fly up. The stuns, but it's Pylai Dai bringing in MP. Gabby already starts his TP. And Nyx Assassin does get brought down by the Mirana. Well, Wait, the, uh, he, lo he lost his boots there, right? Previously, yeah. <laughs> Puppy stole his trackles, I just realized. Look at he's dead. He, he's not... Who clipped me? He, he's yep. not imprisoning. <laughs> yeah, by the way, previously, Axe lost his boots there when Puppy was uh, stalking him. Wait, so he actually... He, he rebought his trackles. Oh, boy. Small little impact Dyer's to the Axe. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> 800 kills on the green. Oh, welcome to the lane, you TP in, hacks. You're talking about annoying. Five seconds on defense. It's a trust from the Shadow Demon. We'll be able to connect. And mid one jumps in, looks at the Starfall, but Axe gets the call off with the double stun from Rappi. Space is not enough damage yet. DJ's gonna get hooked up. And now Execration. They were having some favorable fights before, but now going one by one into Team Secret's control. Yep, like the Cloud has been starting to be m much more active in participating in his team. Homing in. Like they, they just need the Cloud to land a hook on anyone and they have more than enough damage to like destroy them. You can see in the last couple of ganks that the o even the OD and the PA just melt to the Drow and the Mirana. They just deal way too much damage. Seems like Execration's positioning has also dropped down a notch. Like your TP into Team Secret pushing your tier 2 tower. I mean they, they were like just uh, trying to defend their tower because you, you do not want to let Drow just take all your towers. Roshan has fallen. The they take your towers, they take Roshan, they get Aegis. Vendetta doesn't have much longer left, he's looking for a kill on Pylai Dai. Oh no, the stun! It's off target with the silence, Nyx Assassin's in trouble! Clockwork with the kill secure from above. <laughs> Threw the rocket out. So Nyx Assassin is down. Uh, he's gonna take... Uh, to, to be honest, Toby, even if he gets the kill on the, on the IO, he's still gonna die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he knew he was dead, but he, he stuck around long enough. Second Roshan died, he only had another 5 seconds left on his Vendetta. I mean, right now, Secret are uh, having their first power spike with the Agadims uh, on the Mirana. This is going to make it very difficult to fight into Secret. Dyer's with the Overgrowth plus the attack. Double Star Storm. It's going to... Going to set up so much for the Drow and the, to just finish off the enemies. Speaking of the Drow... Like she's walking around now with a Silver Rage oh, as well as Dragonlance. That's Lance. just gonna own the, the PA. The, like the Phantom Assassin is just gonna get owned by this Silver Rage. But it's the upside, he's only got one point up in Blur. Well, still the damage reduction is uh, yeah, true. a big deal for PA. That crate doesn't really work as well as she, it used to anymore once he gets hit with the Silver Rage. Oh, you have to get a BKB for that. And that's, a, that's a long way off yep. for, for PA. She just wants to complete up the Desolator well, first. Unless she changes her direction right now. <laughs> no, no, it's, it was, it's finished Desolator at least. Like, unless you're you're talking about going BKB as opposed to finishing up uh, Abyssal. Yeah, most likely he'll finish his Desolator. They need the damage. They don't have enough damage right now to to secure the kills after the Axe initiates with, with the call. Not even better for mid one. You give an arcane rune to a Mirana. Execration to try and prepare for a fight. I mean, this Secret, is the vision Secret, right now of Secret. Secret should just fight right now with uh, the arcane rune and the, the Aegis on the Mirana. Especially when they see where Execration are. That Observer Ward's watched their movement perfectly. So Team Secret know if they want to win this fight, all they got to do is just wrap around from behind. Oh, They'll the relocate career. in. They use the Moonlight Shadow. The hook shot barely misses DJ. But it still won't stop Keizu from four staffing in. DJ gets the call off. So Armor doesn't really help him against mid-1's damage. The magical damage they brought in. Plus Keizu with the Blade Mail. 
Only needs to create oh, some space. No four stop available. Puppy with the overgrowth holds him there. They need more slow, however. MP is able to get that cold arrow off the relocate. To sending the IO back away, a defensive imprisonment. But mid one is ready. And all he's gonna do is start fall down. Easy pickoffs. Next creation heavily on the ropes. Nix Assassin at least gets a pick off on the back lines. They killed off the clockwork, but you're gonna lose a Phantom Assassin for this. The arrow from Mirana hits him straight in the noggin. Oh, here comes Palada as so Rappi. Can he get out with uh, the TP? He cancelled himself. He's looking for the kill. He's looking for the murder. He gets murdered himself. Execration are falling apart at the seams. There's Team Secret. They're stepping closer to being victors here in Malaysia. They, they actually did not have any stuns to cancel his TP. Overgrowth was on cooldown yep. and Arrow was on cooldown. Yep. They literally had nothing to stun his TP. He would have got back out safely. Dyer's top but it's, it's like the, that attack. moment before on the bottom lane near near Roshan. You think you can find that kill, you want to take the kill, but Dyer's the cost is just not is worth the squeeze. 22 minutes in, first set of racks down. Really bad news for Excretion. I mean, at the moment, they do not have enough, like, first, you know, like, once the Axe jumps in to call, they, they don't have enough damage to kill, like, there's too much sustain between the Io and the Trian. They're just keeping the cause alive, like, once you don't kill anyone in the call, the Clockwork comes in with the hook shot, Mirana comes in with the Double Star Storm, they turn the fight around. Dyer's top so many problems. Is under attack. You know, I, I could look to see Rappi, who's approaching his Blink Dagger, but I don't even know if that's really going to help you at this point. It's going to help them, um... Focus on at least the IO or the Trian, he can go behind enemy Dyer's lines, kill the support. That's what they need to do. They need to remove the IO and the Trian out of the creation first before they kill the other tanky heroes. But is it not worth like getting another four stops so they can play around the clockwork, get heroes away Allies from like the cold slow of Dro Ranger? Uh, it's, it's also a good point there, you raise. It really depends on player preference. The arrow <laughs> gonna land. Uh, Gabby hit for a while, Rappi, the bodyguard, stands in and then relocate. Ardai brings in more help, good Phantom Strike up, the Gust gonna hit the Phantom Assassin, look at the damage! MP going ahead, hoping for a miss hit, but already the PA's down, GJ jumps into the call, he'll get rooted up by Puppy, the stunts from Rappi doing the work, but they only burn the Aegis of the Immortal, now OD, well at least you got a Trium Protector, but really all you got was a Trium Protector, now the Axe will fall as well, a huge window, no buybacks for the three cores of Execration, Team Secret. They haven't claimed a second lane of Rax, but they're looking fantastic. No buybacks at all on all their costs. <laughs> Two supports remaining, Toby. Oh, Shadow Poison is a wonderful ability, but I don't know if it'll be enough to hold the line here. They at least have to wait, Team Secret, to bring in the creep wave through top. Just to get a little bit more, more momentum. Don't need to tank up, they don't Dyer's have that innate tanky hero attack. apart from Clockwork. Be on the front lines. Are fortified. This will be the last roll of the dice now from Execration. If they don't win this Dyer's fight, then this, this grand final attack. belongs to Team Secret. Oh, TP in by OD. Has <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of... Uh... Uh, they're, they're trying to catch them up before... Puppy arrives to the scene. Jump, there's your Blink Dagger. Sass initiation over on the clockwork. Stifling Dagger, they need some crisp, but then the Gust from MP! Defensive destruction has to be used, mid one jumps in. No easy quick star fall for him, was on cooldown at the time. Pumping overgrowth, hits just on the rim. Shadow Demon locked in, they're gonna kill him off as the Hookshot controls up the OD. Phantom Assassin down as well to the count. They need more, the Axe, spin it up. It's the only way to win. There's number one, the Gust will push him back. Close the distance, or push him down. The Hurricane Pike does the work. OD might buy back into this game. But the remnants of the Execration Force are not enough to repel this team secret. Dyer's Two heroes against four heroes attack. here. What is actually Yang gonna do? You, should, you pray that Team Secret lets OD hit one of their heroes for about 20 Dyer's attacks, and then maybe the OD's gonna have fair. enough damage for this fight. He's, he's already fearing defensive imprisonments underneath the, underneath the tower. Rappi will jump in, but again, it's more harassment. Buying time, they need Axe and PA. But Team Secret now taking out the top racks. One racks away from Megas, so efficient, so surgical, and they look for the opening. Rappi Shadows will get the stun off. A quick Moonlight Shadow. But Execration aren't in a position to fight just yet. They want Radiant's Puppy to come back in. Sentry to counter Sentry. Oh, relocate is available for the IO to bring in the Clockwork as well. 
who also just picked up his fresh Aghanims. Team Seeker kind of have everything they want apart from an Aegis. I mean, they just don't have enough damage, though, on SCTN. They're not farm enough. You see, see that fight. X got a, like a three-man call, but they did not have enough damage to finish the heroes. He got one kill, but that's about it. Maybe if you can get the blade melt done, like they, that could be enough reflect onto Team Secret. Yeah, probably. They need like an extra burst of damage if he gets another big call like that. Dyer's bottom tower. So you look is at the supports, attack. SD and Nyx, They don't provide like a big sort, like a, <clears throat> like a big burst damage, like a big sort of damage, apart from the OD. And PA is not even that rich for 27 minutes. Well, Isecration will have a little bit of time now. Dyer's Roshan's two minutes away from attack. spawn time. Team Dyer's Secret with no real fallen. opposition. We're always going to take that tier two tower on bot lane. Flares here. You know, Excretion right now can't really leave their base. Like total map control for Secret. I mean, if they want to, they could just wait for Roshan and end the game. So like Team Secret, all they want to do is just trying to find an opening to kill. The Observer and Sentry, which is in in the top lane, makes it difficult just to slip in through the top. That looks like what DJ's hoping they do. Hook shot. Hook shot. Yep, they find Dyer's the opening. Defensive disruption. Arrow's gonna fly in. It's a little bit too early. Rappy with the double stun. Keeping Puppy as well as mid one out. Puppy dropping down low. And there's the attack. The call from Axe. He found the relocating target. The damage is nowhere near enough. Axe just can't do anything. MP's killing off the Nyx Assassin. While all's going down to GG. It's over. Team Secret will whitewash the grand finals. Taking out Execration. And taking out a hundred, the client share of a hundred fifty thousand dollar prize pool. Yep, very well done by Secret, yeah.